look, it's Lee Camp, uh, the guy who uh, was um, doing a show on RT and uh, Vladimir Putin was paying his fucking rent in New York for years and, and says that um, the U.S. government made him lose his job, not RT didn't pack their shit up and leave. And this is the, this is the, he's doing the, ro he's gone full Roseanne on this shit. Now, there was a time when I liked Lee Camp, when I, you know, I was sympathetic to some of his viewpoints. I got to be honest, the dude has never been funny. I, even when I liked him and I wanted him to be funny, he wasn't. And so he ran, he did the whole, um, Jimmy Dore, like I'm a comedian back, like drop back, which by the way, you'll notice I never fucking do. Can I just say that for the record? I, you, you never see me go, I'm a, just a comedian. What do I know? And I'm just a comedian. I like, I, as a comedian, I comedian, any comedian, whatever. No, when I'm doing this, I'm doing this. This is not my stand up. This is not my music. This is not my acting. This is, uh, this is Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. Take it as it is. And you don't need secondary fucking context. I'm either right about this shit or I'm not. I'm either saying something that makes sense or I'm not. It's not because oh, the other time I do this other stuff. That's not the fucking point. Ugh. It's just lazy. And it's, it, you know, it's this weird, like, like, it's a fallback so that you can cover. Yeah, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a pothead comedian. That's what, that's what Dor says all the time. Same shit. Anyways, uh, this is... It, it, Lee Camp apparently is of the belief, if I'm to take this giant, fucked up cartoon graphic seriously. God damn, really? You're gonna use, you're gonna use like a cartoon fucking font over a building being blown up? Did they let this happen? I feel like there should be a zoinks after it. Fucking idiot. The evidence. Oh my God, this and is And there quiet. is a fair amount of evidence that, that, Israel very well might have known this was going to happen. Bull shit. It, by the way, a fair amount of evidence means that this dickhead has watched a couple of videos and heard people parrot the, the one story that said it a dozen fucking times. Therefore, there are now 12 stories that say it. And allowed it. Um, and I know the the kind of instant reaction to that is why the hell would they do that? Well, Gulf of Tonkin, obviously Pearl Harbor, we, because they really want it to happen so they can have a pretext for blowing up the thing. As I, well, that's also a stupid fucking argument because what if, what if there's nothing to let happen? Yeah, it's another people are talking, right? What if there's nothing to let happen? That, that ever occurred to anybody? This goes to 9-11 as well. What if, what if, what if we let our guard down and and you're attacked? Is it did you let your guard down on purpose? Oi. Um well, you know the other person doesn't have to punch you if you put your guard down. You know, they still take effort on their part to be violent and gross and you shouldn't have to have your guard up for one, but that's another one. Having having an assault on your people uh, allows for all kinds of of funerals. It's uh, I love how the minute something happens that goes against somebody's narrative when they're as entrenched as this motherfucker and and as Cornell is or even Sean Hannity is or even Dershowitz is any fucking time. Yeah, I should. I don't think you could speed up video on Rumble, can you? Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can. Hold on. Uh, that's good. How about this? Um, th that suddenly everybody's the fucking Illuminati. Everybody's the Pentaveret. Everybody's the smoke-filled rooms. The rooms gets instantly fucking... Filled with fucking smoke. Tactics to be used, such as bombing the shit out of Palestine, such as... Yeah, they don't need a pretext for doing that most of the time. Bombing the shit out of Gaza. Uh, Why is there shit in Gaza? They have the weaponry to destroy all of Gaza. And right. And? So they let their guard down, 
And then uh, what happens? Hamas doesn't do this. And they're doing a lot of it now. And they, it, it, it also allows even increased surveillance. I know Israel is one of the most surveilled countries in the world, but they can even continue to up. Uh, yeah, that's what they're, they're really having a hard time passing a, a new Patriot Act for Israel. And they, they, they have got a, they've got two cameras on every corner and now, and they want three. An assault on people's rights in, in Israel. And yeah, that's, that's what they're really shooting for. They, they just thought, hey, we should let Hamas um, hit us by land, sea and air and, and go on a fucking slaughter spree so that, again, this is close. This is so fucking close to Roseanne territory. So here is some, so this is for, this is a WikiLeaks cable that WikiLeaks tweeted out uh, that was printed a long time ago, you know, many years ago, but people, there's so many thousands of cables from WikiLeaks. People miss a lot of them. Uh-huh. This is the Israeli defense intelligence chief Amos Yadlin in 2007 saying. In 2007, I see. So it's timely. Israel would be quote unquote happy if Hamas took over Gaza because the IDF, the Israeli military, could then deal with Gaza as a hostile state. He dismissed the significance of an Iranian role in the, in the Hamas controlled Gaza. Um, so. Right. And he was wrong about uh, Iran's uh, work with Hamas. And by the way, they don't. Hamas is not one of the, the controlled adjuncts the way Hezbollah is. That's the point that they fund and they train them, but they don't give them orders. They give Hezbollah orders. They're uh, specifically, they're more like the Wagner group. Whereas these guys are just fucking, you know, like like Trump's lone wolves who show up at fucking FBI headquarters in Cincinnati. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, tell me about something that just happened because of a, a cable in 2007 where somebody that doesn't even work there anymore... Um, went made some outlandish claim about Israel would be happy if Hamas took over. But this is this is this so this is not meant to be public, right? This is secret cables. This is part of the reason they've tortured Julian Assange for over a decade now. Uh nobody has tortured Julian Assange for over a decade now. Julian Assange stayed in the Ecuadorial embassy of his own free will. Everybody else that went through their charges has already been released. What are you talking about? He avoided uh, rape charges in Sweden by hiding in the Ecuadorial embassy. I'm dead serious. Like, there's no situation where the Obama administration, for example, if he'd have just turned himself in and he would have had a he would have had a trial, he would have gone through the whole fucking thing, that he would have done a reasonable amount of time and been left or whatever. He just decided to run this fucking game. This is the I sped him up because he talks slow. Former Israeli defense minister saying they would like to see Hamas take over. <laughs> yes. And uh, is there a cable from the rest of the people going, are you out of your fucking mind? Gaza, that is their own. It's weird. It's almost like uh, if you have a cabinet full of 10 people, each person will say a version of something that differs from the other so that you can get a round table idea. Uh, you know what? Fuck that. That's not the point of government. The point of government is to have everybody in a room get together and all say the same fucking thing. Lord almighty. Their own words in leaked cables that they did not want us to see. Uh... Here is some more information from 2007 uh, about this, about the rise of Hamas and why, sorry, why some of, why there were, there were many who w wanted to see it, uh, many in Israel and many in the, you know, neocon U.S. war state. This is from Sam Husseini, a well-known journalist and activist, just as the U.S. government back. <laughs> yeah, who writes articles about this stuff in support of the BLO. The Mujahideen, which ultimately spawned, uh, uh, Osama bin Laden, just as the U.S. government backing the Mujahideen, who would become the Taliban in Afghanistan in the 1980s, Israel helped the rise of what would become Hamas. It was even advocated in the pages of the New York Times. Ah, the New York Times, always getting it right. The reason was clearly stated, a desire to divide the Palestinians and undermine the secular PLO. Classic colonial divide and rule. Why didn't they do that in the West Bank? See, from September 9th, 19th. Also, citing an article by somebody who believes this about Israel is not evidence. It's just an article. I get it. And even that, like... Show me the cable where there was a unanimous vote within the cabinet that said, yes, this is the plan to get Hamas. Not some dude who says this going, yeah, they'd love it if it happened, I guess. 1989, an alternative to the PLO of fundamentalists. So this is an article in the New York Times from 1989 saying that. 1989. Well, nothing's chap ha changed since then. Having Hamas, uh, having Hamas, ta Hamas take over Gaza would be good because it would divide Palestinians rather than have them united. Um, and... Again, allowing this uh, an attack like the one that just happened. We'll, well, I'm convinced. An article from 1989 and uh, a cable from 2007 from a single source. Uh, I mean, yeah, clearly um, the uh, Netanyahu greenlit the attack on the uh, 
on on the schools and the and the kibbutzes and the fucking music festival and all this. It's like and and he picked this day. For, Jesus fucking Christ is what the right wingers in Israel are we're hoping for in many ways. So adorable. Here's some more on why people believe that that this quite possibly. Uh, um, I, 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 can I can I jump to the end? Um, why? Here's a question: to Why people believe this? Okay, first of all, only people who already believe that kind of thing watch Lee Camp, and Lee Camp's only job is to like fucking look for needles in haystacks that will that will reassure their paranoid delusions. That's why. You can, in a, if you go back over this entire fucking exchange, just like Cornell West did, just like fucking Dershowitz will do, you can find a, a, somebody right after a bombing, right after an explosion, or right before saying something that you can go, aha, and, and attach to that. You got to ignore everything else, and you got to ignore fucking decades of time in between stuff. But you can cherry pick these fucking examples and go, see, that's why it happened because of this fucking thing. Yeah, this, uh, that, that one thing, that's what made it happen. So that's his, that's Lee Camp's fucking job now. Lee Camp's fucking job, just like Russell Brand's was, boy, has he been fucking quiet lately. Yikes. Um, <laughs> um, his job is to go back through either, uh, naive or genuine support for some particular group over time or uh, violent and uh, naive support, or, you know, uh, like opposition to a particular group over time and, and cherry pick certain parts and put them together and, and draw fucking tenuous neurological conclusions between from those things and, and go, see, so, you know, the world is a setup. Therefore, tune in tomorrow as I... Take complicated things and make them simple. They, they, that they knew this was going to happen at minimum. Uh, this person who uh, generally does quite good tweets and, and quite good information. Uh, quite good tweets. Says, did you know Israel created Hamas? There were two reasons for sh this shocking strategy. I don't know if they created Hamas, but they might have fostered it. Uh, no, no, no. You don't, you, excuse me. You don't get to say they do quite good tweets and quite good information and then question their premise right out of the fucking gate. That doesn't sound quite good. If they're asserting that Israel created Hamas and that's their premise. Divide and rule, split the Palestinian leadership into two divisions. Use Hamas's hard line as an excuse to reject any peace plan. Create a controlled opposition, which is violent enough to keep the endless war going and sabotage. How do you, how do, you do that exactly? How do, you, how do you create that, quote, controlled opposition? How do you control them? Because they don't look pretty, they don't look very controlled. And, and is this asshat... One of those people who thinks that we helped the Yusuf Saad and the Mujahideen um, because we wanted to create Osama bin Laden, you dumb fuck. Good Lord. Peace plans. Uh, this person says Hamas is an offshoot of the Muslim Brotherhood, which has had very close relations with the U.S. and the West for decades. Yes. Uh, if, you, if you mean that they've had fucking targets on their backs every time they leave Iran. Um what uh, again what the living shit and this person goes on to claim it's backfired because hamas is now too strong and has shown has just shown their strength i don't jesus christ uh, wait he's about to he's about to tell us uh, another thing that's wrong with his quite good tweet know that this is in the end going to backfire i mean again it's it's tough to tell a, a people who has had their lives destroyed for decades and decades and had had their kids uh, murdered, etc. And if you remember watching the Great March of Return, the IDF snipers were picking off. And again, this is a crime. It's a it's a crime against humanity. It's a war crime. Except it's not a, the Great March of Return was not a war, so it's not even a war crime. It's worse than that. Uh, it was just straight up murder. But they were shooting and, and killing, and they knew what they were doing. Uh, children, elderly, uh, press people with press written all over their outfits, uh, medics, and they they killed multiple journalists. They killed multiple medics, and they. Killed multiple uh, Hamas fighters who were wearing medic clothing and wearing uh, the the press outfits, and it turned out in some cases that the Hamas themselves had killed the reporters and taken their outfits and were using them to get close and were wearing the same shit and were wearing like Red Cross outfits to get close enough to fire rockets and shit and fucking get out of here. This uh, again, 
trying to take a complex situation. Everybody got it. You have to check any kind of strategic thought at the fucking door and act like, uh, you know, I, I was just standing there and this dude runs up with a fucking bat. It's just so lame. Uh, it was, it, it was just, they, they knew what they were doing and they were going out and they've gone after the, the, and Hamas doesn't know what they're doing until they grew too strong to be controlled and that they were, so Hamas, uh, the, the, oh God. The, the press, they've killed journalists uh, quite clearly. So here's a quote from a former IDF. No, not quite clearly. Uh, soldier. And this is being brought by Kit, brought to us by Kit Clarenberg, who always does amazing work. Always does amazing work and great and quite good. Uh, I'm not going to play the clip because. Uh, <laughs> but but it's it's quite good. Because it's seven minutes long. But here's a quote from the clip. I served in the IDF 25 years ago in the intelligence. 25 years ago. Okay. Forces. There's no way, in my view, that Israel did not know this was coming. Something is very... Well, and that settles it. 25 years ago, I mean, you're up on uh, the latest shit. Also, uh, how many days do you have to think it's coming before it's a surprise when it finally does? The rest of the world didn't believe Russia was going to invade. Biden knew it and said so. But, uh, but the Ukrainians themselves were like, we don't think so. And then they were. The Ukrainians have access to all kinds of shit. And they were still caught flat-footed. In theory, the Biden administration was telling every, the Europeans, everybody. America has a great military, but it does, it can't. It is, we, so far, we don't have a ray that sees into the heart of someone to when they're serious about an attack before, as as of, as opposed to like bluffing, right? So does that mean you it, like Zelensky wanted Bucha to happen? So he'd have an excuse to fucking take back Crimea by, w through a protracted war that Russia only ta thought was six days long? Very wrong here. The surprise attack seems like a planned operation on all fronts. That's because you're a fucking paranoid asshole. Uh, and Israel, most of you know this, but Israel has the most sophisticated spy system in the world. Mm hmm Right. At what point do you have to make a judgment about whether or not someone who's running towards the line is actually going to cross that line? And if they keep running towards the line day after day after day after day, and then they finally cross the line, when when you're like, Jesus Christ, this guy's always running up the line. He's never doing it. Anyways, let's go fishing. And they pick the day when y your guard is dropped to cross the line. Is that because you didn't have the ability to watch the line or because you chose... You, you assume today would be like yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and the day before and that they had agreed. They rope-a-doped this. They admitted to it for three fucking years. I don't think he's going to be showing that clip, though. Uh, many U.S. police actually go to Israel or Israel trainers. By the way, he's not coked out right now. I don't think. I, I think he's just one of these assholes who can't hold his weed. But the uh, I've sped up his talking because he drags a bit. Mossad trainers come to them to train police how to be more brutal, how to be more quote unquote effective, how to uh, surveil people. How to surveil people? Brutal surveillance. It's just, it's the kind of surveillance where they're watching you and you can just feel it like neck, like, like hands around your neck. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my God. Again, today is less about the conversations uh, on these issues quite frankly, and more about the level of idiocy in the actual discourse. Because again, um, I, I want everybody to recognize that there is no clear, concise answer in the long-term back and forth about this. You can, If you're going to try and rehash what happened in 1948, you're going to fucking fail. It's never going to work. And if you're going to argue that, you know, uh, Israel attack, responding to Hamas is an attack on the Palestinians, and you're going to also have to, you're tacitly admitting that Hamas does represent the Palestinians, and what happens to Palestinians because of the actions of Hamas is part of Hamas's plan, and therefore they don't represent the Palestinians. It's a fucking Gordian knot of bullshit.